Hi, I'm Jim Hamilton. I'm a group director with Keypoint Intelligence InfoTrends, and I have a couple of children's books that I wanted to show you today that were printed using digital print. Actually, a combination of technologies. The cover was produced on Ricoh's Pro C7110, and the inside was produced by their Pro VC6000, an HF device. Uh, and the way that this was produced actually is a, a, an interesting uh, story. The cover actually is a combination of technology. So um, the foil here is um, added with the Kurtz DM liner. So you see um, sort of a metallic foil view here, um, which gives this cover a lot of uh, fun shine and, and uh, you know bounce to it, um, front and back actually. I did a video previously, actually on the same book, the same image, in which the cover was done with a metallic foil stock. White was laid down and then four color on top of that and gaps were left so that the metallic would show through. An alternate way of producing this is to use, you know, just a, a white stock. In this case, it's Arctic Paper G Print 250 GSM. Uh, on the cover, the inside is actually also an Arctic Paper G Print. That's uh, 150 GSM, and that's the inside is what is produced on the uh, the VC6000 because VC6000. But the cover here, as I said, there are two ways that you could do this. Uh, in the first video that I showed a while back, it was on a metallic stock. Here we're talking about printing on a white stock. And then as a post-process, the Kurtz DM liner lays down foil only in the areas where you need it. So it's really two kind of philosophies. Do you put down foil just where you need it, or do you get a foil stock and then allow it to show through where you want it to show through? So really a nice example. There's another book that they gave me that uses a similar uh, uh, technology to make that happen. Again, it is the Pro uh, C7100 uh, device for the cover and then inside the VC6000, both of which are Rico products. So, you know, if you're thinking about production of inkjet for, you know, a higher coverage application like this on stocks that are familiar to book publishers, that's an interesting development. And then, as I said, you've got this cover where foil front and back, is being used in very unique kinds of ways. Um, very nicely done. I love these kinds of samples. They're fun. They're real world kinds of uh, examples of what you can do with digital print technology, uh, both to make a cover stand out and then also to have an inside that is very appealing and uh, you know shows off the, the fun qualities of this uh, children's book. So I hope you enjoyed this.